y'all welcome to my channel Tiffany Tashi. today I have a huge vintage home decor haul to share my husband and I y'all we just got back from Jacksonville Florida nothing major I know it's not like a popular city in Florida but Jacksonville y'all so many thrift shops we also went into this antique mall y'all it's it's just overwhelming but I will share a few clips while we were shopping there it's just so much to see I love it and every time we go back it's just always something new and I love how they got it decorated for the seasons as well so I will share a few clips of us shopping at that antique mall and then I will jump into this haul into this haul. I hope y'all enjoyed those clips. Now, I also did go to the Goodwill in Jacksonville. I love to go thrifting whenever we're out of town. You never know what you'll find and the prices are somewhat cheaper. Well, the first few items I'm going to share are from the Goodwill. Y'all, I have the fall season on my mind. So I did pick up a $3 wreath. It was priced for $2.99. And this year I am going for a more traditional fall season decor. So I thought this would be perfect on my front door, especially since we got our house painted. It's so beautiful. So I really want to keep it simple. I didn't want nothing to be too dramatic, but I thought this would just be perfect. I am going to take off these, um, yeah, these little fake fruit. Yeah, I don't like the fake fruit on here, but I just took those off. And I just love the natural look. All right, so the second item I have, I thought about my youngest niece. I think she will love it. It's just a teddy bear. I paid $2 for it. I am going to toss it into the washer so I can freshen it up some. Also from, again, Goodwill. Y'all, the Goodwill in Jacksonville was just amazing. I didn't do my plate gallery wall, y'all, yet. So it will take place this summer. My husband needs to get on board. But anyway, I did pick up a few dishes I thought would be perfect. So I just thought this um, platter would just be perfect for my plate gallery wall. It's not vintage or anything, but I love the cream color and the trim, as y'all can see. And it was priced for $5. So that was a surprise. I thought it would have been less but i love the shape of it and it's originally from tj maxx so whatever i thought that'd be perfect for my plate gallery wall few more dishes oh these not vintage i don't think they just look a little vintage but i have this beautiful dish here and it says pier one imports on the back i picked up a couple of these it was two dollars each for these dishes 
So I love the detailing on them, like the scallop edge and that little lace, whatever they call it, kind of um, pattern. I like that. So the last dish that I have for my plate gallery wall is this cute little dish here. Um, it says green tree. I don't think this is a vintage dish, but I thought it was pretty as well. I love the shape. I love the shape. It's in great condition. And again, all of the fine details that I can't wait to share with y'all here on my channel when it comes to just redoing this plate gallery wall. It takes a little time because I'm very particular, but overall, I love those dishes. Whenever I decorate, I love using fresh flowers. So I needed a, a good size glass vase and I finally found one at the thrift store and I did pay $5 for it. See, $4.99. I think the sale on that particular day was 40% off red marked items. So, of course, none of my items were marked <laughs> for sale, but I thought this would be perfect. And I am just going to simply put this on my dining room table and just put florals in it. Nothing fancy. I love to keep my decor minimum okay, now. So last but not least, like I showed y'all, I went to this antique mall and I picked up some vintage copper pieces that I had to, I, I just had to purchase. So um, overall, this antique mall was kind of pricey because there were really antiques in there. So I'm trying to see what I paid for these. They took the prices off, but I have this beautiful copper decor piece that I am going to hang in my kitchen with my other copper pieces. I love the vegetables you see imprinted there. And I just thought that'd be perfect to add to my simple copper collection, nothing major. So I have this one right here and I also have a hen <laughs> or a rooster. I think it's a rooster, whatever. But I thought this was so cute to hang over my stove since I don't have much wall space, well, pretty much hardly no wall space in my kitchen, but I thought that'd be perfect in my little galley kitchen. All right, so that concludes all of the items that I thrifted while we were out of town. So make sure y'all stay tuned. I have lots to share here on my channel. When it comes to trying to do these home renovations and stick with our budget, it takes a lot of brain energy. Although we are hiring someone to do the job, it still takes a lot of energy, but I have a long list of ideas that I want to share with y'all. I'm going to be doing some cleaning motivation kind of videos because these are real life tasks that I need to tackle, especially during the summer. So make sure y'all stick around and subscribe to my channel and always show my videos some love. All right, y'all. So that's going to wrap it up. I appreciate y'all so much and I'll talk with y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.